my fight fans. So we had ourselves a fight this past Saturday. It was Javante Davis versus Hector Garcia. Now, I know what you guys are saying. Hector Garcia isn't the most well-known guy that Javante Davis has fought. But nonetheless, this was actually a tune-up fight for Javante Davis for his fight upcoming in April against Ryan Garcia. So, let's talk about the fight, guys. The fight was actually went down as pretty much we all expected. Tank Davis usually likes to fill out his opponents in the first couple of rounds. You know, Hector did throw some really good shots. We looked really, really good. But at the end of the day, I just believe that Javante was just sizing him up, testing his power, testing him out. And then he was finally, once he was comfortable, he was able to unleash and able to do what he know, does best. Tank pretty much hit him with some serious, serious power shots. According to Hector Garcia, who he did an interview, where he did an interview later, said that he got hit so hard, so many times in the head, that he actually did not know where he was at. He did not know um, or even could see. He could not see. Um, he was temporarily blind. And that is like getting hit in the head with a baseball bat or a hammer or a, even a rock. Something to that nature. You know, because it's just, that's how hard Tank Davis hits. And you couldn't, you really could not um, picture a guy that size being able to hit that hard. You know, we know these guys get hit, hit hard, but, and we all knew Tank always had power. But Tank has some serious, serious power on those hands. So the fight went on and it went on to the 8th round where I believe Tank landed 30 shots to Hector's 3 shots. And um, that's pretty much three, what, three ti 10 times more than Hector. That's one same one thing. And the fact that he was just constantly hitting him with, at, at will. You know, Hector was trying to do his best in the fight. He was trying to use utilize his reach and utilize his size. But I believe that Tank Davis's power was just way too much for him. Way, way too much for him. So at the end of the day, he, um, the fight was stopped in the ninth round. You know, the ninth was, he was pretty much, the, um, the bell was getting ready. Everyone was getting ready to go. Tank was ready in the ring. And then before you know it, Hector just could not get off the stool. And they called the fight. Pretty much a TKO. So here we are. That is it. You know, Javante, pretty much what we expected. We expected Javante not to have too much trouble with this guy. I um like I said again, nothing against Tank Davis, relatively unknown competitor, definitely probably not even really in the top ten at the moment. And this was not supposed to be like a high rank. Like again, this was supposed to be something for Tank to get himself, get himself like more fresh for his Ryan Garcia fight, which is coming. Like I said, coming up in April. Um, but no, no disrespect to Hector, he did his job. He went in there, he tried his best, and at the end of the day, you know what? He lives to fight another day. Thank God he's not hurt. You know, he did come out saying that he, had, you know, he got hit so hard. He was, he did not know where he was and he was blinded uh, temporarily, but he did get regain his sight and he seems like he's doing okay, which is good. So for the future for Javante, we already know there is no need to discuss on what's next. We already know what's going to be next. It's going to be Ryan Garcia. Now, this is going to be a very, very tough challenge for um, Javante, both for him and Ryan. You know, where Ryan, he is fast. He is taller. Than Tank, I believe he's like standing at 5'9", 5'10", where Javante is at 5'5". Five, uh, five. He does have a longer reach. And Ryan Garcia does, can pop. You know, he does have power in his hands as well. So, you know, this is going to be an actual very, very fun fight. I believe it is by far, in the States, in the United States, I believe this could be the biggest fight. You know, because we already know Canelo... Um, he is such a huge monster on the pay-per-view buys, and everyone knows him. A lot of people know who he is. He is boxing star right now. Him and Tyson Fury. But outside of that, I believe Ryan Garcia and Javante Davis, with the um, popularity they have, especially within social media, and especially for Javante, Javante Davis in the hip-hop world, I mean, obviously you saw what happened in the eighth round. If you did watch the fight, Meek Mill um, and another, I'm not 100% sure who... Uh, I was hearing that it might have been Gary Russell Jr., if I'm correct, um, or another rapper that they were getting into a scuffle and it literally stopped the whole fight. It, I mean, I don't, I've don't. i been watching boxing for a very long time and it there, it's very rare for something like that to happen. Usually the fight stops when so, like something happens in the ring, not outside the ring. This fight was looks like the scuffle outside the ring was so big that both fighters stopped what they were doing to check out what was going on in the outside of the ring. So it was actually pretty crazy. It was pretty pretty interesting to see. 
So, but nonetheless, yeah, Javante Davis does have a big hip hop hip hop following, and Ryan Garcia has a big social media following, and he has a few um a few YouTube stars as well, and a few other hip hop stars as well following him as well. So this is going to be a very fun fight. This is going to be a very action packed fight. You know, I do see these guys going back and forth w with each other a lot. Um, like I said, right now with Tank Davis, he def definitely has the power. I do feel like he has the power a little bit over Ryan Garcia. Well, Ryan Garcia just has that speed. He has that um, the ability to get um, counter with some really clean, heavy shots, hard shots. I'm not saying Ryan Garcia can't thump like um, Javante Davis could, but it's still I just 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 seeing the power that we've been able to see for Javante for the longest time. It's just it's incredible. It really is, and I'm very much looking forward to this fight. It was a great fight night for um, Javante Tank, Tank Davis. I will be breaking down the fight more as we get closer. But guys, it was a very fun fight. We got ourselves some more um, upcoming fights coming along the way. I'll let you guys know what happens. But yeah, definitely if you haven't checked this fight out, definitely go ahead and check it out, guys. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.